Hey guys, my name is John Cole. I'm president of Parker Onyx, and today we're going to do a little tech talk on technical data sheets for powder and why they're important to you. So every powder you buy comes with a technical data sheet. This happens to be a typical one for a matte clear powder, uh, but we're going to go through the sheet for you. As you see on here, they're going to talk about specific gravity of 1.15. Why is specific gravity important to you? It tells you how much coverage you're going to get. Here they show you a theoretical coverage of 167 feet squared per pound of powder. Now that's at 1 mil and 100% transfer efficiency. So if you're going to use uh, 3 mils, you're going to divide that number by 3 for coverage, and then you're going to divide it by the efficiency to get you your real uh, expected coverage. Next they talk about uh, shelf life, recommended shelf life, we all kind of ignore those sometimes, I believe. Then we go into the actual physical properties, and here we see gloss uh, at 60 degrees. We're looking at the gloss levels, we're looking at the Powder Coating Institute PCI uh, powder smoothness ratings. We can see overbake resistance, that tells you how much uh, extra time you can cure without color loss or property loss. We see the pencil hardness impact uh, uh, resistance, uh, adhesion, uh, and, and salt spray. So we see all these specifications, but here's the part most people don't know. Those specifications are only valid when you coat within the recommended film thickness as specified by the manufacturer. So for example, if we were looking for a pencil hardness of H on, on our finish here, we'll get that pencil hardness as long as we keep the film thickness between two and three. You go above three mils, your properties change. You go below three mils, your properties change. Every property listed here is based on the prescribed millage for the powder. So film build is really important. It's not a random thing. It's not more is better. It's not, uh, it doesn't matter. It really does matter. Cure temperature. Cure specifications are really important. In this case, they're telling us they want to cure 10 minutes at 400 degrees. 400 degrees metal temperature, don't forget that, it's not 400 degrees oven temperature, metal temperature. Okay. Now another thing that you have to consider is curing is time and temperature dependent. Okay. So while this is one point, this is their recommended point, you can cure for a little longer at a little lower temperature and still get the same results. Every powder also has a representative cure curve, uh, but you usually have to ask for those uh, specifically. So I hope this helped you out. It's really important to understand the relationship between uh, properties of the powder and the film thickness. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tech talk. We're gonna do these on a very regular basis, probably one per week. And if you wanna be included in future, please like, and subscribe below and feel free to share these with your friends.